Hey there. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Come on, girl. You know we should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way. Don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. Hey, so, you're Gage's little pet project. Watch it, lady. I'm no one's pet. Really? Gage made Coulter, and now here you are. I'm just calling it as I see it. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. Rules just hold us back. We should be free to do what we want. That's what I was trying to tell Coulter all along. Maybe if he listened, he'd still be around. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. Hey, I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm gonna do things my way. Whether you approve or not. Oh yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up? And I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises. And you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. I'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Hey, that last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. I'm not sure what's worse, wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Hope we get more gauntlet runners soon. We need some excitement around here.
Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Gage must have pulled a few strings if someone like you is in charge now. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. I've done a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. You can head on in over, boss. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So? Our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored. Kinda like this conversation now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. I'm sorry. That sounds like a demand. I'm the overboss around here, and I'll do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. Of course, boss. Whatever you say. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place... Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. I'd thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. Waste of time now. No one's topping your performance.
Nigel William normally had me frisk visitors, but you get special treatment. This is so let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow her? How does that work? She ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. If you want to know more about what's going on, then maybe you should ask Mason. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. You a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs with wolves. Caught one of the traders stealing food. Turned him loose outside. Can you talk to Maggie or something? You said you ain't allowed to kill any of them, so... Hell no. Why would you have to wait in a long line to see me? No. I'll walk right up here. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. Do you need help finding your place here? No. No! I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. Life's too <clears> short for bullshit. Now that I get a closer Gotta look at you, not day. sure I'm buying Every this new day. overboss thing. As long as you care about yourself, you'll do what I tell you. Ha! You might make it out of here alive after all. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that. We're gonna be fine. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, if not each other. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be overboss. Me? Overboss? Nah. Seems to be a... Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I think you're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful. Just fed up. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Ain't nothing I ain't already told you.
So what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I'm not Coulter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You've got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. Mm -hmm. If you're ever able to lend a hand, loyalty's a two-way street. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Damn Nuka Cola song Man, stuck I've been in my head again. Bad. <sighs> I haven't slept in days. You've been hitting the jet pretty hard. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They'll do what they're told. And that's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. 
parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back, one at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Tag along if you want. Might learn a thing or two. Oh, now this I gotta see.